Poof, you know, YouTube is a strange place that bizarre things happen. Like this weird comment. In, and light, in and light what? Hell no, not gonna see another creepy Linux desktop, was my first response at least. But then, this comment started to hunting me. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. I couldn't bath. I couldn't work and I couldn't pet. I was feeling sick. I just had to know. What was this in, and light, in and light what thing? Alright, let's do this. And first of all we need to select the Linux to try it. An easy pick of course. Arch Linux. Because it delivers the latest, it is as close to upstream as possible so we can get a better idea of a desktop, and ironically Arch Linux has the easiest installation of anything else today. Okay. Here we go. And meanwhile those loading screens are one of my favorite things on Linux, so I always disable Plymouth and all those that kill the magic. Anywho. Almost ready. Arch install and go! Language English, OK. Keyboard input US, OK. On mirrors I will add to, Greece and Germany. Space to select, and enter to confirm. Locale US, and UTF-8 encoding. Fine by me. On drives I will select the single drive I have, and that is on a VBox really. On disk layout I'll go with the wipe all option. And set file system to ButterFS. Defaults to volume structure. And I'll put the ButterFS compression that should be level 3. Don't want encryption. I will leave system deboot. And I will disable the swap. Host name is fine. And we can set root password later if needed. So let's create our user for now. Username me. And the usual 4 letters password. What? My password is weak! Your mama IQ is so weak, that zombies walk past her because they don't smell any brain. But at least it still allows us to use it. We totally want to add this user to super user group, so we can use the sudo command. All good! Confirm and exit! Next is the profile templates. Hmm? I guess we need the desktop option here. And then it will list us some pre-configured environments, although we can use plenty others from the community. In any case, we just need the in, and light, and light what thing. Running this on quick emulator, so we'll go with open source drivers. Audio. And set that to pipewire. Then it's the Linux choice itself. Here we have three options. Harden is a security focused kernel. LTS is a long-term support and usually older. And Zen is a kernel optimized for desktop. We can select more than one, but I will just go with the default. Additional packages not, nah, so let's jump to network. And here I always pick network manager, because I really really don't want to boot on an arch with dead internet. We can always set our time zones from desktop UI, and we don't need additional repos right now. So let's hit install already. By the way we could save the configuration, so we could automatically load it to another box without going step by step. Anyway, time to enjoy some of Arch installation together with the sweet sounds of death metal. Machine learning Chino? Death metal maybe? Yo mama maybe? And done! We can jump to console for some further post installation, but because I have no idea what to do, I will just shamelessly reboot. Oh, and I'm telling you already I have no idea what this desktop looks like. I literally haven't seen it for ages. Okay, login. It's a good sign that graphical started. Hum, welcome to you too. Asking for language? 
I guess that's some sort of initial setup? And keyboard? Oh me gee! It has a desktop or a tiling mode? I would have the desktop selected, but because they will troll me on comments I will pick the tiling window manager. Not sure what's doing now and what's missing, and why app is spelled with capital A. But I didn't have my hopes high at first place. Select size, but doesn't say what size that exactly is. Maybe fonts? Maybe something else? Maybe nobody cares? Hum, an option for window focus on hover that's usually a good choice for tiling, but I will go with click instead. In the meantime, this is possibly the slowest initial setup ever. Come on! Move on! I could skip the waitings with my amazing video editing skills, but nop! You're gonna watch them to appreciate better the speed of GNOME initial setup! What again? What con in service? I'm starting to believe the possibility to be internet less is approaching dangerously. Alright! Bluetooth is seriously too much to expect! Let's see what will fail next? Select hardware acceleration, or tier free rendering, or both? To be, or not to be? That is the question! Next is asking us to allow it looking for updates! Like this is gonna work! I mean we use Arch packages anyway. Then it asks if we want to use a taskbar. That's some typical setup on such desktops, and usually the taskbars are some indie module not part of the core environment. Anyway, we're finally in, and the first thing is to get one more warning, that I will close without even read. And next let me change the resolution, just imagine the glory of this wallpaper on an 8K? Hmm, should be in screen setup? Got it with first try! To be fair though when trying things on virtual machines, they usually look much worse than what really are. Then again, we are in the bottom of the barrel. In fact, I think that it is intentional to be crap. It's the way of those system to say, we look like shit, but we can do anything you can do, because we are still Linux. Okay, let's open a terminal to see if there is internet? Meanwhile what are those? Icons on desktop, like seriously? However the graphics are not that bad. I mean they are completely awful, but they have some personality. Wow, and some next level text selections. Okay, back to the original objective, open a terminal to check if we are connected. Should be somewhere on applications, and system? Terminology perhaps? Youch, again found it on first try. Only the best of us can do that. Alright, let's see. Ping, Ubuntu.com So I have one good and one bad to tell you, the good is we have internet. The bad is there is still Ubuntu. 